This is a demonstration of the prototype for a time domain reflectometry unit. So if you look at the unit here, um, we have the uh, time domain reflecti uh, lef reflectometry unit. It's powered by a regular 9 volt battery and the signal processing is performed by a simple 8-bit microcontroller, in this case an Arduino board, and the resu result is displayed on a standard uh, two-line liquid crystal display. So what we're going to measure, measure here is, is uh, uh, a cable. We have, in this case, a twisted pair cable. So it's a standard cable. Um, basically just two wires uh, twisted together. And I have measured the length of this wire. So it's uh, approximately 340 centimeter long. So if you switch the unit on here, um, we can see that first it displays cable OK, so it's, uh, the circuit is not uh, detecting any short circuit along the cable. But as you can see here, at some instances I have removed the isolation. So if we now create a short circuit here, we can see that on the display, uh, it displays how many centimeters away from the, from the unit is this short, uh, circuit, uh, short circuit located. And we can try it on, on different uh, uh, locations. So here are uh, approximately at um, uh, 300 centimeter. Yeah, it, it shows the, uh, the distance there. And the distance is measured uh, with a fairly high accuracy. It's better than one millimeter uh, accuracy. Um, so this circuit have many applications. Um, uh, the, it can be the, this kind of short circuit. It can be, of course, uh, short circuits that are are unintentional. But we can also create this kind of transmission lines and deliberately introduce short circuits. Uh, for example, by having a sliding uh, short circuit along the cable, we can use the circuit to measure distance with high accuracy. Uh, so this kind of circuit uh, have have uh, many applications.